talking about where is this whole church state line drawn and what are some of the possible things that can come out of it? It isn't um, drawn. It isn't drawn anymore. The line is gone. Well, there are some things where this is clearly not going to work and this is clearly okay to happen, things like that. But what they're saying is for years and years, the two have kind of been pretty close together and it hasn't really been a big problem. They, they kind of stayed out of each other's hair. Now with gay marriage, at least, that's being one of these catalysts to say, okay, now there are going to be some sparks flying because there's a little bit of tension there. Um, and, and it's more than just, are these people allowed to get married? It goes into, what about insurance laws? What about lots and lots of laws that are currently in the U.S., which Whose we never really thought about it? of it before. You know, I mean, what baffles me, and I'm about to get on a political tangent, is that, you know, the current administration was all like... Uh, we think the government is best which government governs least. Oh, we're Republicans. Oh, we think that the government should not micromanage people's lives. And yet they're sitting here and they're telling people who they can or cannot fall in love with, who they can or cannot sleep with, who they can or cannot marry, who they can or cannot adopt take care of, be families with, make a family out of. And it's not like we have so many people breaking down the doors of adoption clinics that we have any place to be picky and yes. choosy, yeah. you know? And it's like, I mean, I'll bet you anything that the parents of all those gay couples are straight, you know? Yeah. So maybe we should be going in and saying straight people can't raise raise children, can't adopt children. There's no it doesn't there's no sense to it. Yeah. It's just religious people going into government and deciding I'm going to push my agenda on the rest of the planet and everything that I think is crazy, I mean that I believe, you know, whether or not there's any any sense to it, I'm just going to go ahead and 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 enforce it on other people's lives. I'm going to I'm going to say what they can or cannot do, what money they can or cannot have access to, who they can or cannot be friends with. It yeah. just, ugh. And the thing is, it's, it's, it's a snowball effect. It's yeah. a global snowball effect in our society. Oh, you yeah. don't teach kids about how to have sex and they get pregnant when they're teenagers. Then you don't provide them health care because they can't afford to buy their own health care. Yeah. You don't provide their kids an education because you're taking all the money out of education and putting it into the war in Iraq. You don't let them give their kids up to adoption and give them away to gay parents who would adopt their kids. Yeah. You know, you don't, you're just... I mean, you are, uh, I really think that what you're doing is you're creating an entirely new generation of unwanted, uneducated human beings who don't know anything and can't lead the world to a better future, which probably, you know, is what the people in power want, because that means they're going to stay in power, yeah. <laughs> you know? <That's> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gersnarl, hiss, spit, spit. <laughs>